Hey guys, it's your girl Alicia Pink and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So this is for my cancers. How are you cancers? So we're going to get right into it. We're going to start this reading off with 3D breaths and a little bit of smudge down. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, let's go. So guys, if you want to get a personal reading from me, you can hit the link in the description box down below. Also, you know, I do my readings on my Etsy shop. If you want to get some manifestation journals, it is linked down below in the description box as well. And um, if you want to follow your girl on Instagram or on um, TikTok, anything is linked down below in the description box. I would like for you guys to like, comment, subscribe down below as well. Help support the channel. I would truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Okay? All right. If you want to make a donation, everything is linked down below in the description box. Okay? All right. So let's go. And this, again, this is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of March 2nd to the 9th. Okay. So you got thorn. Your potential is endless. And then you have potion. Remember to practice self-love. And then you have tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. So this is beautiful. Um, my beautiful, lovely um cancers. So cancers, spirit wants you to relax. Spirit wants you to show yourself some self-love, some gratitude as well. Um, remember how powerful you are. Remember your potential as well your potential is endless you know like basically spirit is saying like like you're like um what, what i don't know how to describe it how to say it um you know like yeah your potential is endless but you know there's so many opportunities in the world you you really can choose anything to do you can be anything you want to be go anywhere you want to go this world is so abundant like you just have no idea or no clue you know you deserve happiness you deserve the best you deserve what you want out of life and you shouldn't let nobody stop you from doing that at all you know um if you whatever you want to do you can do it you know if you if you want to be a businesswoman or or a businessman you can do it if you want to um work a nine to five job you can do it if whatever you want you can have you just have to truly believe that you can have it all right let's see what else is going on my cancers again this is for my cancers for march 12th so march i said 12th march 2nd to 9th okay you have you are very close to achieving your goal what do you need to release and nothing will come of this situation so i feel like whatever's going on with you um for this week you know your goals whatever you're go trying to achieve it's almost here it's almost here um so close you can smell it so close you can taste it so close you can actually see it and also what do you need to release maybe you need to release something in order to get this goal and this could be anything this could be um a specific person this could be uh, a job a um, friendship um, a bad habit or whatever um, also nothing will come from this situation so if you are doing something that you like you this for this this explanation like nothing will come from this this um this uh, situation I get like you can't continue to do 
old things expecting new results. So whatever you're doing, maybe it's time for you to change it up a little bit because it will your goals will not achieve if you keep doing the same old same old and if you don't release what needs to be released once you do those two steps then your goals will become a reality all right let's see what else is going on um we want to use these cards Again, this is for my sun, moon, and rising people. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Again, this is for my sun, moon, and rising people. All right. Let's see what you need to hear. So you got death, the death card. The Queen of Wands in Reverse, the High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like in the beginning of the week, um, the King of Pentacles as well in Reverse. The beginning of the week, things are coming to an end. Like I said, a new cycle is beginning, but you probably won't see the results right away. You probably won't get the attention that you want. Um, but you need to work on your intuition. You're not getting connected with your intuition. It's like one minute you are, one minute you are involved in with your intuition, one minute you're not. You keep get. I feel like I just heard distractions. You keep getting distractions, distracted. You keep getting distractions. Also, you have the King of Pentacles as well. Maybe your finances are suffering from this. And you also have the temperance card. You know, you need to create some balance, peace in your life. You are really, you're probably finding it difficult to do that right now. But I feel like by the end of the week, you're going to find, you're going to find your peace. You're going to find your outlet. You're going to be able to just be by yourself and be con content, happy, and stable. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, you're you're most definitely going to find that balance by the end of the week. Um, and that more enlightened, more enlightened, you're just going to like you're going to trust your intuition. Like I feel yeah, you're going to be more spiritually by the end of the week. I truly believe you're going to do the work. You're going to do the release and work. You're going to because. You realize the old ways wasn't working. Just like I said, um, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting the same outcome and the same results. Like I said, you probably one minute you're like, oh, yeah, I'm spiritual. The next minute you're like, OK, I fell off the wagon. I think spirit wants you to stay consistent, stay consistent, because if you don't can stay consistent, you know, you're going to fall back off the wagon once again. You won't get the outcome that you want. You need to create that balance. And you just need to fight hard to stay consistent, to stay um, fighting a good fight. But I feel like you will win in the end and things are going to go back to the flow of things the way they're supposed to go. All right, let's see what else you need to hear for um, by the end of this week. Uh, March 2nd to the 9th with some charms yeah I'm doing some charms but guys okay the evil I just came right out I feel like you need to work on your protection make sure you watch who is around you who is your like who's in your circle all right yeah and also black tourmaline protection protection and um black obesity um look into that you have the key to your success and also spirit wants to let you know i love you to the moon and back you can have some cancer hello cancer clarification cancers hello you are very imaginative it's like i said time to get more in tune um your guides your angels are with you you can also have some leo in your chart you're a very generous person and people probably like to take advantage of that look 
for your sources, your higher sources. This could be your guides. This could be your ancestors as well who wants to reach you. You know, pay attention to cats, animals. Um, you know, please, like I said, crown the, the, what, what it says, thorns, crowns, your potential is endless. Hello. Yes. And also do some self-love, some self-care rituals as well. Okay. I really, really hope this resonates with you. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys next video. Bye.